Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Game Girl Games Wow. My name is Silvana and today's episode we are going to be talking about add-ons. You'll notice here on my screen I already have Curse pulled up and we'll get into that in just a second. So let's go into some basics. What is an add-on? An add-on is an extra program that you can put onto your game of World of Warcraft and they do different things. Curse is the only one I know that is approved by World of Warcraft. Other ones can cause your account to be suspended or for you to be completely expelled from the game where they will count they will basically they will can't will blizzard will cancel your subscription. So you want to be careful if you do use add-ons, what you're using and where you're getting them from, that it's a safe source and not going to be buggy or cause you to lose your game. So here is a list of all the add-ons that I have. Um, so, and then this is where, you know, when you first load it up, this is where you have add-ons. And you can pick, now I've already picked World of Warcraft as my game. You pick your game and then you can look through and see what you want. If you need help searching, here's filters and it can look through different types of categories that you might want. Things for action bars, things for uh, certain classes, things for different types of uh, specs, healers, tanks, all kinds of different options. Um, now I'm not going to go into a full list of what I have here, but I am going to go in, I'm borrowing one of my other tunes to show you what some of these add-ons do. So here's our game of World of Warcraft and this is the character I'm going to borrow. So we'll Go into the game here. Yeah, I know. My computer's a little slow loading, and that's okay. It happens. You can have, you know, a little bit of a slower computer and still enjoy your World of Warcraft experience. Don't let anybody try and tell you you have to have a top of the line computer to play this game. You don't. I play it on my laptop half the time. So. Now, you'll see I've come into Stormwind. If you've played before, this is the main alliance town. Well, one of the main alliance towns called Stormwind. And I have my character popped right by the mailbox because that's one of the first add-ons that we're going to talk about. And while we're talking about add-ons, let's go to our add-on button here to turn some of them on. Now, again, this is a list. And I'm going to tell you what some of these do. Okay, so NPC scan, and this is the overlay that goes with it. Uh, this is a scan of your vicinity on your map of NPCs in your area. This can come in handy for if you're rare hunting on, and there's some achievements that's tied for that. Here's Auctionator, which is one of the auction house add-ons. Here is Helium. This is a healer add-on. I use it a lot because A, a lot of my characters are healers. But B, even for the ones that aren't healers, a lot will get one or two healing spells. And I just find it easier to put my healing spells up in the helium bar and leave my, my main bar clean for my attack spells so that I know who's where. You can set it up any way you want to. It's your character. Don't don't feel that you have to do it a certain way. 
you're going to see me click a whole bunch of stuff here. This is all from my Titan panel. Titan panel is a nice little add-on and when it reloads, I'll show you a little bit more of what it does. Tom Tom. It's just like the real life thing that it's named after. It is a almost a GPS for World of Warcraft. A lot of times when you look online for where a particular quest item or boss is at, they're going to give you numbers as your location. Those are the numbers that are shown on your map from your TomTom. -tom. So this one, if I'm go I'm going to suggest a few that no matter what spec you play you get, you should get TomTom -tom is number one that I'm going to suggest on that. The second one I'm going to suggest is Postal. This helps with your mailbox and I'm going to show you exactly what it does here in a moment. This is for your player score. I don't use it much anymore. If you're really, really, really into that you know, checking your score versus other scores. And I don't know how on earth I got two different ones for auctions. So I'm just going to turn them both on. I have to figure out which one of these two are the actual one I like. So, and I'll show you a little bit more of what that happened. That um, I'm not going to vote one versus the other. I like I do like one of these over the other. I just don't remember which one it is. I believe it's Auctionator, but I don't remember right off the top of my head which one it is and why I have both on here. Um, I won't suggest a specific one. Here's Auctioneer. Here's Auctionator. There's about three or four others. Just get yourself an auction house add-on of some nature. It will come in handy, especially as you level up your professions. So we're going to reload. So we get to look at this weight screen again. Yay! <laughs> okay. So this is what helium looks like. Obviously, it doesn't come preloaded with the spells in it. And this is because I've had this on this character before, so it has all of her, most of her healing spells already in it. And you just move that where, where you want. You right-click and hold on the party box, and you can just move this anywhere you want to. I like putting it up here, or it's up, out of the way. And while we're moving stuff, you'll see some stuff is piled up on top of each other here. If you hold your mouse over it, it'll tell you how to move it. So you just right click it and drag it down or up. Oh, oh, oh. oh my bad. It's, a, it's right click, but I click the left click, of course, because it's me. <laughs> so that it's not right on top of your regular thing there. Okay, so here's what one of them does. This is a mailbox. When you go to check your mail, you right click it. It'll show all your mail. Now normally to check your mail, you click on it, left click the item to take it, and then it deletes. What Postal does for you is instead of having to do it that way, you just click open all and it will open and delete all of your mail. Also comes in handy when you go to send mail, you can pick, instead of having to type, you can pick who you want to add, who you want to, you can add, you can remove, recently mailed to. This is a list of your alts on this server. 
So if you're trying to send an heirloom to one of your alts, it'll pull it up. His friends at guildies. So when you join a guild, if you want to send one to, per, to a particular guild mate, you just use that. It is really handy, and this is why Postal is one of my number one suggestions on add-on to get. The other one we're going to talk about, and it's part of the reason why we're here, is the Auction House add-on. So let's go over to the Auction House. And we'll talk a little bit about it. Oop, almost ran into the into the water. That's never good. We don't want to go for a swim today. Just remember, when it comes to add-ons, these are not necessary to play the game. You can play without them. These are just little handy additions to the game that can make it a little easier to do certain I to do certain things. Okay, so this is the auction house. This is the how you set up an auction. You just right click it. It pulls it up. Now you'll notice mine has six tabs down here. Normal auction house would just have three browse where you search through for what you're looking for. Bids Things that I believe this is you're bidding on, but maybe it's things that you have for auction that are been bid on. No, this is things you're bidding on. I had to think about it for a second. And then these are your auction. This is putting up your auctions, things you want to sell. So the problem with this way is if you want to sell something, let's pull up a bag and just let's pick something out here. Left potions. Now, I don't know, is this a good price? Is this a bad price to find out? Before I put it up, I'd have to go over to Browse, find the item, look through it all, see what the prices are, then go back over to Auction and put the auction up. And this is what your auction add-on helps you with. Instead of having to do all that, here you have these three new tabs, Buy, you want to buy something specific, you click this button. Sell. Okay, now we want to sell something. We don't want to do all that research of how much what's costing. We just put it in there, and it does the scanning for you. So you know that you can put a price, and you'll be good. Also, when it puts it up, it'll automatically put your price 5% below whatever the high, the lowest price for that item currently is. You can adjust that, but there you go. Um, also, one of the nice add-ons of this is if you craft, I happen to be an alchemist on this character, and you have a potion or something that you need to make for a quest or that you need for rating or whatever, you find it on your list. I'm just going to use this one as an example and now it has this nice little button here AH you have to have the AH window open for this to work but if you do you just hit that little button and it'll automatically search for all the items in this that you need to craft it and you can go down the line and find one that surprise that is good to you and buy the items or if it happens to have the actual item and this is why I use something that you can't buy from the AH just use as my example you could buy the potion just straight out to, if it you know however you wanted to do that so those are the two I suggest the most when we actually log on to our character we'll show those particular add-ons for her but until then this has been girl games well i'm your host savannah and i hope that you have a very nice day